Hey guys, welcome to another video. So here they are. I finally got a chance to get some. Got a couple of iPads here. 32 gig and a 16 gig. So we're gonna unbox them. I'm just gonna do the 16 gig for now. So let's uh let's get it going here. Uh Get a big knife. Here he is. So I could do the big knife thing. This black one is the 16 gig and the white one is the 32 gig. But since they're the same, we just need to get one of them open. It's really not much to this. Um, you can see this is the power cord and charging brake. And that's it but we're gonna go ahead and do the first power on here first you can see what it looks like cosmetically I'm gonna tilt here and then I'm gonna go up a lot higher and tilt since it's such a big boy I get an open server. So here we go. So on the front, you have the camera still, power button. On this side, absolutely nothing. And on this side, you've got the vibrator switch or screen rotation lock, volume key. Here is the SIM card tray with some scuffs by it already. And speakers down here in the uh, lighting port. <clears throat> on the back here, you've got the antenna, microphone, camera power button on top and headphone jack on top and this is definitely one pound it's really lightweight so we're gonna fire it up here and I'll give you the first boot up and then I'll do a hands-on as well won't just do an unboxing we'll do a hands-on too I was gonna get this on day one but had some technical difficulties so it didn't but now we're all good to go And we're gonna get it set up. English. My region is obviously the United States. This thing is fully charged almost. I'll go ahead and do uh, do Wi-Fi for now. Uh oh. Oh, well, we'll go ahead and use the cellular data since it is now picked up the LTE. You can see there in the top, T-Mobile LTE. And we're going to label location. And I'm just going to start a new iPad. I'll restore it later if I need to. Continue. Skip. Agree. Agree. And we're going to skip this too. And we're going to use Siri. And we're not going to send those. And we're going to go ahead and get started. And here it is. There is the iPad Air. And it's definitely Air. <laughs> it is a uh, very, very lightweight compared to um, the iPad 4 and all of those. So let's cut for a second. And then we'll go and uh, start the hands on. This is running on T Mobile's LTE network. Got 12 gigs available here. On the 16 gig, that's pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and get it popping, guys. So stay tuned. Give me a second, and we'll get it fired up. Hey guys, welcome back to the second part of the video. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight um, some gaming, some web browsing, video content, music playback, and we'll just go grab a few things. So let's first start with some gaming. Uh, let's try this dunk game I was playing. All right. So. 
if you have never played this before, it's actually a really, really fun game. It's free too in the, in the app store. So that's uh, this basketball game, gaming one. Let's go to um, Need for Speed. suck at these racing games <laughs> well I think this game in particular is a uh, kind of difficult to control on the iPad when I play this game on Android it, it's flawless the controls are really easy and uh, it just seems like even on my, I, my iPhone uh, the controls are kind of loose uh, so you just barely tilt it it just goes crazy I don't know if there's a way to adjust the uh, controls, but uh, I don't play this game very often. I just download it for demo purposes. Right, I'm not in view, sorry guys. It's very hard to play this behind the camera. Enough of this. All this moving around is getting me. Ugh. All right, so that's just a little bit of gaming, and we're gonna check out uh, how this thing plays uh, some some videos from within the browser and uh, see how they look. My favorite phone right there. Yeah, really like that phone. All right, so here's some embedded videos that they have. And I like how it plays directly right here and not, it doesn't automatically pop open the player, which is a, a, a good thing. I pointed out that a long time ago on the iPhone, but um, iOS 7 has brought many updates. And uh, this is one of them, being able to play it right here. And it gives you the option to actually <clears throat> make it bigger yourself. Uh, you can do so by just pressing that there. You can actually zoom in as well. Once you get it open, there's another one up here where you can zoom if you want to. And it plays right here. Which I think is really nice. <clears throat> Web browsing in general, though, is, is uh, really nice. Um, you get a feel of how uh, nice the uh, screen is. The font is super clear. Even though this isn't really a, a 1080p display, it really, um, it really shines. So that's a good thing. Sorry, I got the sniffles, guys. I started this video the other day, and I've been really sick, so feeling a little better. So I decided to go ahead and put it up. But anyway, web browsing on here, as usual, iOS 7 is just um, a flawless um, uh, uh, the browser and the way iOS 7 is put together. To me, it's pretty pretty flawless. Um, there's a lot of uh, browsers that you can change to, but um, on this one, I personally just use the um, the stock browser when I'm doing certain things for Google I use the Google browser but uh, overall I just use the the uh, stock browser and it, it works good I like it on a tablet probably better than a phone uh, but uh, it's good it's uh, it, it, it does well this is the uh, LTE version uh, as I pointed out before I would definitely go this route uh, when thinking about getting the iPad, that way you can be officially mobile. 
So web browsing is, is good. Let me give you a, a sample here without doing too much uh, copywriting. Let's see if I can. These are streaming from the cloud. Feature volume. Uh, so let's a little sample there. Let's go to uh, videos. I know I got some videos. I've purchased several, a couple movies and several uh, shows here. So let's play this one. All streaming, which is what I like. So, streaming is good for video, and I also have some videos that um, are here. Uh, last night I, I, I wasn't feeling well, so I was sampling some low light video, low light video and pictures. And here's how they came out. Now the the lighting. <coughs> Excuse me. The lighting is in another room. We're in the living area, and the uh, lighting is actually on in the um, dining area. And I wanted to see how good this camera was because there is no flash. So I wanted to see how good the camera was. So we set our great niece up here. She's just a she's just a little gym, a little doll. She's beautiful, and um, we set her up on the couch and uh, and just started taking some pictures with it just to see. Uh, it's so innocent, so beautiful. Uh, just to see how the camera would do in low lighting, and to my surprise, it it, it does very well. Um, it's it, it's really good. She fell asleep. Also, took a couple of videos with, with the same lighting. Here she is watching TV. The lighting is behind her, kind of on her on her left side in the dining area, and she's sitting here watching TV. And you can kind of get a feel of how. Uh, it will perform in somewhat of a low low lit area. She's watching her Lion King. She was really into that. She's about five months, getting ready to be six months. She's just a doll. So, video is nice. Now, one thing I want to point out: there's a microphone right here, and when I was recording most of the videos, I was covering up this microphone. I, that's kind of I think Apple wants you to hold it like like this but I think that's a bad idea to re record your videos in portrait mode I think that's a horrible idea I don't know if that's what they were heading for but that microphone was getting covered right there so the the sound is muffled on uh, some of the videos and um, it just didn't come out right but nonetheless all right so um, video sampling uh, pictures um, are actually really nice on here too. Um, I took a few cup, a couple of photos before starting this video, just to show you. And this was just as I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here just a few moments ago before starting this video, and I've got the blinds slightly open. It's still um, uh, not too bright in here, and you can kind of get a feel of how the camera performs. <laughs> It's a really, really, really good camera. Is what I'm is what I'm getting at, and I think that uh, you'll be plenty pleased with it um, when you start to shoot in in daylight or you have very low lighting. Um, this is a very lightweight tablet, as you can see. It's very thin. I'm glad that they changed the design to make it look like the iPad Mini. I really enjoyed it. Um, I will tell you that so far, what I did was I powered it on, and I haven't charged it yet, and I've, I've definitely. I haven't been feeling well, so I've been laying in the bed since I started the unboxing yesterday. And the battery, if you remember that video, I think it started off at about 80 some odd percent. And I was up to probably 2 a.m. Um, and I'm still, I've been doing, I've downloaded obviously a lot of apps and I did it, I just let them go. And I'm still at 18 uh, percent. This battery is going to be a killer battery, I can tell you that. Um, I haven't charged it yet and I'm still running on 18 percent. I've done I mean, you know, when you get something new, you you really hammer it. You know, you really get in on it. So, battery life on this thing is going to be fabulous. And one reason why I think you'll be happy with it if you decide to get one is that it's so lightweight, very lightweight. Um, it just it it's a very lightweight tablet. When they say it's a pound, it's really a pound. It's really good. Um, so I got this through T-Mobile, and we we got a couple of them as you see in the in the unboxing in the beginning of this video. So one thing I want to point out, I want to address really quickly here about. Uh, the data uh, for the, the 200 megabytes is free. So 
there's been huge discussions all over the internet about it being free and that it's not free. Well, John Ledger, he also posted online that it's free, but he's not, he's leaving out some, some disclaimers here. So this tablet that you're looking at, this is the 16 gig. This is on an account. Uh, I have it on an account by itself, so I don't have a voice line. So the 200 megabytes is not free. It's $10. So if you plan on getting this and you don't have a voice line, just be prepared to pay the $10 or go ahead and pick a higher plan because I don't have a voice line on here intentionally because our voice lines are on another account. And the, the iPad that's on the voice line account, it's actually no charge for the $10. It shows $10, but they said they're going to erase that. That is what he was talking about when T-Mobile posted all that on Twitter yesterday or day before yesterday, saying that it was actually free. They've made a mistake. You know, so that's what it is. So, um, if you're having the device by itself, which the black one is, the white one is not by itself. Um, if you don't have a voice line, be prepared to pay the $10 plus the $26 if you decide to finance. And I not only purchased these outright, but since I bought two of them, I told my wife, I said, no, no, no I'm not, we're going to finance these things to them, but I'm going to go ahead and eventually just pay them off in a couple of months. But if you decide to have it by itself on an account, there's some things that you want to do now on the iPad. And I obviously I've never had a data. Well, I have had a data tablet before, but I was, I was already, I had a voice line with it. Okay. So if you have it by itself like this, what you'll need to do, they'll tell you to take your SIM card out, put it in a phone, go to tmobile.com and set it up online, register the phone number. Then you'll be able to actually access your account away from the tablet. You got to take the SIM card out, put it in another phone, and this could be an inconvenience for people who don't have anything else. Um, but you know, I have tons of phones laying around, so I was able to take the SIM card out and it is a nano SIM in there in the store. They have no idea what they're talking about. They're saying it's a micro SIM and all this. It's a nano SIM in there. So I just popped it out, put it in the iPhone, got my text message, registered the account, and now everything's online. So there's some kind of things that I think it could be a, a better way to work it out. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. So, um, first hands on with this device. Um, am I happy with it? Oh yeah. It's, uh, definitely one that I'm, I'm pretty excited about. I couldn't wait to get, it. I had some troubles at first. They just were selling out. They just didn't have them in the stores anywhere. And I was a little agitated. So I didn't, you know, I just said, screw it. And I waited a couple of days. Then I went to the store to get it yesterday and, uh, I was coming in from a car show and, um, and, uh, they were just, crowded in there and then finally I was waiting for 25 minutes or so 30 minutes then I decided to ask one do you even have any in stock and they only have one 32 gig so I left drove around to another store and was able to find that store actually right from across the street from my house or down the road actually had tons of them in stock all colors all sizes uh, so that was a huge plus so with that being said um, uh, right now uh, first impressions are I'm impressed it's a really nice looking device. Uh, I think it'll be one that you can definitely keep. I would suggest getting Apple Care. Uh, it's $100 for Apple Care um, for the uh, iPad. So uh, grab your Apple Care if you're planning on using this heavily. And this is going to be your internet access. T Mobile's LTE on here is uh, obviously really fast. I've got it hooked to the hotspot um, for now because obviously I chose the 200 megabytes because I had no intentions on using it um, outside of my hotspot. I'm tethering with it period so um but you know the lte on here is um really fast i'll turn it off it, it continuously picks up lte never dropped lte yet no service drops or anything and web browsing um on it is uh just like um any other device that has uh lte it's it's pretty good <clears throat> i have uh, good service with this for some reason so uh, but the 200 megabytes will definitely blow through here so that's why i was like you know i better just get this thing in and, and tether with it. So um, that's my unboxing and hands-on um, for the iPad uh, Air. And I will see you guys in the next video. Plenty more videos to come. Um, <clears throat> so look for them. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm really sick. Um, look for them and uh, we'll see you in the next video, guys. This is the iPad Air running on T-Mobile's LTE network. Great buy.